What's going on guys, it's Brandon again, and today I'm bringing you a new War Thunder video. I apologize that I haven't uploaded a video in about a week. I've just had a lot going on that's been consuming my time with school and other activities. Now, we're going to hit the ground running this week with uh, multiple videos I'm going to be putting out there for you guys. And as promised, we're taking a look at the A6M line that I will soon be comparing to the KI-61s. And like I've said before, it'll be a video much like the LAs versus the Yak. So, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, the A6Ms are notoriously famous for their maneuverability, and I believe that they can just about outturn every plane in the game with the exception of biplanes, probably. And usually you're going up against the U.S. with these things, so they're very good against U.S. planes as well as going up against the Russians. Now, the A6Ms are made of paper, basically. That's why they maneuver so well. They're very, very light planes now. This isn't a plane that you want to be getting into a speed battle. You never want to try to outrun anything with the A6Ms. They're just not made for that. So try to maneuver and get, get out of there at all costs. Now another really good area that these things excel in is the climb rate. These things can outclimb American planes pretty quickly and they're really nice like that just because they're really light and you can get on top of your enemies and dive down on top of them. Now when going into a dive with these things however, it's not the best diver in the world and I don't recommend diving. It's just because the A6Ms are very light, they're not as stable as something like the KI-61 in the last video. I said it's a very heavy plane and it's very stable when going into a dive and it carries its energy. Now A6Ms do the exact opposite. They're very light and when they're going into a dive, they bleed off all their energy and pulling up is really hard to do when going into a dive with these things. Now just try to avoid diving, not at all costs, but if you have to dive then go ahead and do it and then quickly pull up if you can. Okay, now moving on in terms of armament. Now, the A6Ms have two 7.7mm Type 97 machine guns with 1,000 rounds of ammo and two 20mm Type MK2 cannons with 200 rounds of cannon ammo. Now, this doesn't seem a lot, but the A6Ms really give you a lot of bang for their buck per ammo. Or per cannon round, I guess I should say. And you just gotta make sure that you really conserve the ammo with these things because what you'll find is you'll be getting into a battle and you'll be doing really well but it'll get down to those last few guys that will be coming at you and click click you're out of ammo and there's really nothing that you can do about it. So they'll basically just wait you out for your ammo but just remember to conserve your ammo and be smart about what you're shooting at. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video and just to kind of recap about what we were talking about, one maneuverability, be sure to use your maneuverability in the A6Ms, that is what will keep you alive in these things. Do not use your speed to get away, speed is a big no-no, this thing is just built for maneuverability like I said. When putting this thing into a dive, be very careful, pulling up is kind of difficult and might end up getting you killed, you don't want to engage or get drug into a speed battle. And armaments, as far as armaments go, conserve your ammo. It's much comparable to a spit, I guess you could say, but I feel like these cannon ammo, cannon rounds give you more bang for, bang for your buck, I guess, but I think that's about it, and I will be doing that comparison video soon. Then I got some other user-requested videos that I will be doing for you guys. Anyway, guys, I'm going to throw a little bonus clip in here for you of uh, my friend and I, or my two friends and I playing. And there's a little funny moan in there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Brandon, and as always, have a nice day. Oh, you got my engine. There's an airfield right here you can land on. Mm -hmm. He's headed right for me. Oh! Whoops. Wow, really? You, what? <coughs> <coughs> Well, that's nice. If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Sorry, well, Nathan. You lived up to the Japanese code. <laughs> uh, I can explain. Explain it to my wife and children who are left behind. Oh, you laugh at that? You laugh at that? Still a good friend. Oh!